Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to make this beautiful circular placemat which is very easy to make and the techniques that I have applied in making this project are chain, single crochet, double crochet and treble crochet. So it is a very good video for those who want to learn all these basic stitches. This pattern can be used as a coaster, as a pot holder, as a mini doily and you can make a set of six or four to gift to someone. So we are going to begin now. Things that we require for this project are a yarn of your choice, a pair of scissors and a hook that could match to the thickness of the yarn. So let's get started. At first we have to pick up the tail of the yarn, make a loop, insert the hook in, pull through to make a slip knot. Now yarn over, pull through, pull through, pull through, pull through and pull through. These are 5 chains. We have to go back to the 4th chain, insert the hook in, pull through. There are 2 loops on the hook, pull through, both the loops. There's a slip stitch. Now foundation ring is ready. We have to make chain 1, 2, 3, which counts as a double crochet, yarn over, insert the hook into the ring, pull through, pull through 2, pull through 2. Chain 2 for chain space, yarn over, insert the hook into the ring, pull through, pull through 2, hold 2 loops on the hook, yarn over, insert the hook into the ring, pull through, pull through 2. Now there are 3 loops on the hook, pull through 2, pull through 2. Chain 2 for chain space, yarn over, insert the hook into the ring, pull through, pull through 2, hold 2 loops on the hook, insert the hook into the ring, pull through, pull through 2. Now there are 3 loops on the hook, pull through 2, pull through 2. These are 3 petals, chain 2 for chain space. We have to make 8 petals, including these 3, into the ring. So this is the fourth one, chain 2 for chain space, fifth petal, there are 3 loops on the hook, pull through 2, pull through 2, chain 2 for chain space, yarn over, insert the hook into the ring, pull through, again one more to complete the petal. Chain 2 for chain space. Now these are 6 petals. We have to make 2 more. This is the 7th one. Chain 2 for chain space. And now 8th petal. Now we have to make chain 2. And now we have to join the stitches on the top of the 1st petal. So insert the hook in, pull through, pull through 2. Fourth round is complete. We have to come to this chain space of 2 with single crochet. Now we have to make chain 1, 2, 3, 4, which counts as a treble crochet. Wrap the yarn twice on your hook, insert the hook in, pull through, pull through 2, pull through 2. Hold 2 loops on the hook, wrap the yarn twice on your hook, Insert the hook into the chain space of 2, pull through 2, pull through 2. Now there are 3 loops on the hook, pull through 2, pull through 2. Chain 2 for chain space. Into the same chain space of 2, we have to make one more petal. So treble crochet 1, do not close it. Treble crochet 2, do not close it treble crochet 3. Now there are 4 loops on the hook. Pull through 3 loops, pull through 2. Chain 2 for chain space. Into this chain space of 2 we have to make 2 petals. So treble crochet 1, do not close it. Treble crochet 2, do not close it. Treble crochet 3. Now there are 4 loops on the hook, pull through 3, pull through 2, chain 2 for chain space. 
now into this chain space of two we have to make one more petal so treble crochet one treble crochet two and treble crochet three now there are four loops on the hook pull through three loops pull through two so complete the round by making two petals into each chain space of two using treble crochet and we will meet again when this round would be completed when this round is complete we have to make chain two now we have to join the stitches on the top of the fourth petal so insert the hook in pull through pull through two we have to come to this chain space of two with single crochet chain one two three which counts as a double crochet into this chain space of two double crochet one two three four so there are five double crochet including these three chains chain two for chain space chain two to be joined into next chain space of two with single crochet chain two into the next chain space of two double crochet one two three four five chain two to be joined into the next chain space of two with single crochet chain two now into this chain space of two double crochet one two three four and five chain two to be joined into the next chain space of two with single crochet chain two so complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed when this round is complete we have to make chain two now we have to join the stitches into the chain space of two with single crochet chain two now join the stitches on the top of the four stitch of the fourth cluster with single crochet on the top of the fourth stitch of the fourth cluster chain three which counts as a double crochet into the same stitch one more double crochet on the top of next three stitches double crochet one two three on the top of the next stitch two double crochet into the same stitch chain two for chain space on the top of the four stitch of the next cluster double crochet one two on the top of the next three stitches three double crochet on the top of each one two and three on the top of this stitch of the cluster we have to make two double crochet into the same stitch chain two for chain space on the top of the four stitch of the next cluster double crochet one double crochet two on the top of the next stitch one double crochet on the top of the next one double crochet on the top of the next one double crochet on the top of the next stitch two double crochet into the same stitch so in this round we have made seven stitches on the top of five stitches and there is chain space of two in between two clusters so complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed when this round is complete we have to make chain two now we have to join the stitches on the top of the fourth double crochet of the fourth cluster with slip stitch now we have to make chain one two three which counts as a double crochet on the top of the same stitch one more double crochet on the top of next stitch one double crochet on the top of the next one on the top of the next one double crochet on the top of the next one double crochet and on the top of the next one double crochet on the top of the last stitch of this cluster we have to make two double crochet into the same stitch
chain 2 for chain space. On the top of the first double crochet of the next cluster, double crochet 1, double crochet 2. On the top of the next 5 stitches, we have to make 5 double crochet on the top of each stitch. So double crochet 1 on the top of the next, double crochet 1 on the top of the next, double crochet 1 on the top of the next stitch and 2 double crochet on the top of next. So in this round we have made 9 double crochet on the top of 7 stitches of the previous round. Chain 2 for chain space on the top of the next stitch, 2 double crochet into the same stitch. 1 double crochet on the top of the next, 1 double crochet on the top of the next, 1 double crochet on the top of the next, double crochet 1, double crochet 1 and 2 double crochet into the same stitch. Chain 2 for chain space. So complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed. When this round is complete, we have to make chain 2. Now we have to join the stitches on the top of the first stitch with slip stitch. Now yarn over, skip 2 stitches on the top of the next stitch, double crochet 1 on the top of the same stitch, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Join the stitches on the top of 5th double crochet with single crochet. Now skip 2 stitches on the top of the next stitch, 8 double crochet, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Join the stitches on the top of the last stitch of this cluster with single crochet into the chain space of 2 single crochet on the top of the 4 stitch of next cluster single crochet. Skip 2 stitches on the top of the next stitch double crochet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Join the stitches after skipping a stitch with slip stitch. Skip 2 stitches on the top of the next stitch, double crochet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Join the stitches on the top of the last stitch of the cluster with single crochet, one single crochet into the chain space of two and one single crochet to come to the next cluster of double crochet. So complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed. When this round is complete, we have to make single crochet one into the chain space of two now we have to cut the yarn from here because this nice pattern of doily or the placemat is complete. These are the two color options in which I have made this pattern. If you are going to make a set of six, I will suggest you to make in different colors so that the pattern look more vibrant. This can be a very good gifting option as well. Thank you so much.